Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow, and we are back with Brave Fencer Musashi. In our last episode, we managed to get a couple of the sides of the underground ruins explored. Found some new stuff to appraise, so we're going to go ahead and appraise it. Okay, so we got this old pipe. Hmm, yes, yes, I see. Amazing! Flute! Okay, a flute of no value. Great. How about this sword? Yes, yes, I see. Amazing! Shovel! That's not a sword, that's a shovel! <laughs> Okay, how about this cloth? Hmm, yes, yes, I see. Amazing! It's the L cloth! Anything that you make with this will have miraculous powers! Okay, so that is the legendary cloth we were looking for. An odd looking helmet. Smells strange. I think it's a pot. I bet it's a pot. Yes, yes, I see. Amazing! Bed. Oh no! No! A bedpan? That's not a helmet. Don't put that on your head. Musashi, don't you dare think about putting that on your head. You do not need your hair to smell like pee right now, dude. Alright. So we got the L cloth. That means we can get something from the seamstress back in the castle. Shut up, Connors. I'm done with you. Alright, so let's go back to the castle and get the L cloth turned into something. Glad we got rid of that bedpan. I don't need to hold on to that. What are you going around holding on to a stinky bedpan for? What are you thinking, Musashi? Oh, this looks pretty cool, actually. I think, it's, think it could be a helmet? No, Musashi, oh, it was Musashi. a bedpan. Why did thou come as hither? Did you need somebody to tell you it was a bedpan, too? I mean, I feel like when you look at that, you should probably know. Maybe he doesn't know because he's from a different land. Okay, let's see here. Which one was it? The knitter. Knitter Lunchetta. Th that's the legendary cloth! Unbelievable! Now, hurry up and give it to Weaver Di Weaver Dinneretta, and she'll make you something. Well, who's Weaver Dinneretta? Weaver Dinneretta. Do I have a Weaver in here? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. There is one, but I have not met them yet. Okay, cool. With care on your journey. Well, hopefully we can figure out where that person's at. Uh, I've rescued so many people at this point. Go back to the village. I think I might have to kill some more time to get back into the ruins. We'll take a look at our rescue list. And hey, look at this. I've rescued so many people, but we're still missing... You know... Uh, probably about 15-ish. I'm not going to sit here and count it, but... That feels about right. I think I did get a look at it before. Uh, do I need any items? I should probably make sure I don't need anything before I go back into the place. Uh, no, actually, it looks like we're fine. A couple mints, W gels. I'll grab another mint just in case. Because I hate being tired. It sucks not being able to run in this game. Welcome. What do you, what do you need? I will take a mint, actually. Thank you. See you later. Okay, so... Now I just have to wait until evening again to get back in here. I think, yeah. Alright, so I will be back when it's evening time and we can get in there. I will see you in just a bit. Alright, so we managed to make our way back into the underground ruins here. I think I need to go back to the bowling area. I must have missed an eye in there and not realized it. I did actually discover that if you hit select, you can switch the mode in the lower left, you see? It's switching to sword to sleep mode. If you have it in this mode and you uh, defend, you actually just go to sleep and it passes time more quickly. Which is something I was complaining about before, so I'm glad that there is actually a way to do that. Wish I had known that uh, earlier. I've mostly just been sleeping in the inns or at the castle to pass time, but sometimes you can overshoot your time. Okay, so I'm going to make my way back through here in the bowling section, and we're going to find out where I did not go the right way. So I will be back momentarily once we get there. Okay, so I made it back to this part where we had to bowl down the guys, you might remember. And then I went through here. I thought that this was just like resetting the pins, but I think it's actually, yeah. It's an elevator, and I should have gone up here. What's over here? Okay, I think that just drops back down into the room below. Huh, okay. Uh, 
Oh, that's awkward. I must need to break that. Can I hit it with a bowling ball? That didn't seem to do anything. Okay, I think it's only firing whenever I look at it, right? So can I just back up to it like this? And just moonwalk over there. <laughs> Slice it in half. There we go. All right. Apparently that's what we needed to do there. Uh-oh. That's closing in on me. We got to move. Uh-oh. Uh, that's the door. Got it. Okay, all good. Oh, that wasn't really too dangerous, honestly. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought that seemed a little simple. Okay. Oh, this isn't really that dangerous. Kind of feels scarier than it actually is. Are either of these walls breakable? Okay, I don't think so. Keep moving forward then. Whoop! Get wrecked! Oh, okay, we can bust this open. Doesn't look like any of the other walls are breakable. What do we have here? Ah, oh, my BP is getting a little low. Okay, it looks like we have another bowling section here. Here we go. You know me, the Strike Master. Let's go! Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Ah, oh, come on. Well, that was too much. Put way too much. Put too much English on it. That should work. Oh, come on. Oh, that's gonna be too far to the right. No! This is a wee bowling curse. There we go. Okay. All good. So, let's go get another elevator up. I'll bust this open and see what's in here. Oh, hi, Vambies. Get back. Y'all know me like that. Get back! Okay, hold on. <laughs> what was that? I missed everybody. Uh-uh. That's BS. I'm calling bull. Uh-oh. You just... <laughs> Get back. Alright, yeah, that's what I like to see. Get, Get out of my way. Yeah, you don't like that, do ya? Got you in the corner, you can't do anything. Yeah, get wrecked. Ooh, that was a lot of stuff I just picked up. Okay, bencho field. Who's in the bencho field? Who are you? Mercenary Stew. Oh yeah, they mentioned this guy. Ooh, what a relief! Thanks for saving me. My name is Mercenary Stew. I take care of the dirty business back at the palace with my pal Pot Roast and his bro Meatloaf. Later. All right, later. See ya. Later, loser. Okay, thank you for the bencho field and the max VP. Love that. Now let's go up the elevator and see where we're going next. Probably just about to the end, right? I can't imagine there's too much more to this side. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Actually, in pretty good shape. We don't have, uh... We're at full HP and BP, and our tiredness is still below 50. That's pretty good. That's one more eye complete. Love to see it. We love to see it. Okay, so now... We need to go on the other side, and I think that that is over here. Okay, so what is our gimmick for this section of the dungeon? Let's figure that out. What do we got going on over here? Oh yeah, I came in here before, didn't I? And I couldn't figure out what to do. Because I crossed over here, and there was a teleporter room on the other side, right? That's how this worked out? Yeah. There's a teleporter here, and there's a teleporter up there, so I need to... It looks like I need to find a, a teleportation spot that'll take me there, but... What do I need to do here? Let me take a look at the room. Okay, so there are these little tiles on the ground. I must be able to use the Vambies to hit those, right? Can I get up there? Oh, I can! Okay, never mind. 
I guess I never tried to jump up there. The the depth is kind of flattened because we're top down here, so I didn't realize that that was low enough I could jump it before. Now, can I throw him? I think if I just hit him with a combo, we should be able to knock him across. There we go. That worked out. Okay. I'm just gonna sneak by that guy. We don't need to fight him. Okay, so what is in this room, then? Oh. Huh. Okay, so we have a light orb moving around. Some Vambies. I don't think the Vambies' power was that useful. It was like, uh, I think it was... Did I absorb any Vambies? I can't, I can't, I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> I feel like I did. I must have. At some point. Oh, okay. So there are... Oh my god. That is so hard to see. You gotta be joking. Really? Musashi, I need you to... Oh my god, that was bull... Mm. That was bull. That thing pushed me into the... You can climb up off of the pole. Good to know that. I can't even see where the pole's at. Okay, I think it ends here. No, come on, man. I can't see anything. Oh, this side sucks. Okay. Let me get over here so that I'm jumping off the right side of it. Maybe that'll help? Okay. Climb up a little bit more. Please come back. Orbs, I need to see where the poles are. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're all good. That's a little annoying. Don't like that. Okay. Found a bencho field, though. Who is this? Bailiff Jerky. Mmm. Pretty tasty. Ahem! It looks as though I'm free! I'm Bailiff Jerky! My hobby is agriculture, and I especially like growing rice. I also like telling puns! Last week, after changing the tires on my wagon, I got tired. Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye! Oh, you're a funny man! You're a funny man there, Bailiff Jerky. Plus, you absorb the power from the bencho field. Max your key increased by five. Thank you! Okay. So, got that. Uh-oh. Orbs? Please? Hello? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, I... This, this place kind of sucks. I don't, I don't like this uh, light gimmick here. I can't even see the pole. I don't want to heal. Because I can heal when I come back out of the... section here, if I just go back and talk to the guy, the, uh, the barkeep. Just have to be careful crossing back over here, okay. Nope! That was close. <laughs> okay, we need to duck these Vambies. So it didn't actually look like there was anything else over there, I think that was just for the Bencho field. Unless there was something that I could jump off to from the poles there, but if there is, that's very annoying. <laughs> considering that I can't see that at all. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up with this dude. And then we'll go ahead and take the left path in there, and that will probably lead us to where we need to go. Wowee! Only one more! <laughs> Hang in there! Oh yeah, try some cake! It'll give you energy! Okay, thank you... for that. Okay, I am fairly tired at this point, so we'll use one of our mints that we bought. There we go. I really, really don't like my tiredness being up because it sucks. I like to be able to run. Running is very useful. Actually helps out a lot with the platforming too. Okay. So now, if we take the left path, I think that's actually the path we need to take to get through here. Carefully make our way across there. Okay, knock this Vambi over. Get out of here! Yeah, that's right, I'm the brave fencer. The legendary Musashi, you don't mess with me. I'll smack you around, Vambies, I don't care. Babies, grandmas, I'll knock them out. Zombies, don't matter. Vampires, whatever. Oh god. Of course, we're doing this again. Um, okay. Please keep the area lit up. Oh my god. Get back here. Come here. 
please. Come back over here. Alright, thank you. It seems like they just go back and forth bouncing, but then sometimes they just change direction entirely, and I'm- oh god. Okay, I guess we're doing pick-a-path. Um, is it left? Come on. Uh, I think I picked the wrong one. Okay, yep, this is the stupidest dungeon. This is the stupidest puzzle of the dungeon. So... Okay, we're doing pick-a-path nonsense, so I need to find the right path forward. That's a little annoying. Get over there. Thank you. Okay. So, right... When I get to that teleporter... And sneak by these... Oh, come on. Sneak by all that. Over here, it just kind of alternated directions, right? So I can kind of just do that a few times, and then... Oh my god, I almost landed in the spikes, though! <laughs> but I'm too good of a gamer! I, they don't catch me with that. Alright. Right side, let's go. Right side, left side. Uh, what was it? I don't remember the lyrics to King. It's been too long. Alright, so up here... And then, of course, why wouldn't we have another dark section? Oh, hello, bats! Oh, the bats are holding the lights now, okay. A little awkward. I'm okay with taking hits from bats, though. That's... Oh, God, easy, buddy. Easy with that. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Oh, no, why are we doing this? Okay, so it was right last time. Is it left this time? Let's see. Okay, that looks correct. This is not back at the beginning, so I think we are right. Oh, looks like we have the same thing going on with the bats again. Oh, okay, I like when you guys drop those lanterns. That's actually very helpful for me. If you guys want to do that some more, I would love that. Don't mind taking tiny hits off the bats. That's fine. Oh my... Of course, why wouldn't it be this again? Okay, so I went left last time. And so you would think you would go right, right? Because, you know, alternating. But I'm going to go left because I think they're trying to trick me. If I'm right, this is big brain. And if I'm wrong, we're just going to pretend that I was right. I was right! Big brain, all right. I'm a genius, you know. My brain is just so massive that I can't even fit it in the room with me. I actually have to keep it in a separate room. Oh, okay. We can probably block those. And then hop over if we need to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought we'd managed to get over that last one. Oh, hello, flaming bambies. I'm just going to run right by you. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. I don't have to deal with that. That's not my problem. Okay, you bats want to come over here and light some stuff up for me? Because obviously there's a bunch of stupid holes in the ground. Okay, ow, that hurt. You didn't need to drop that right on my head. Okay, what's in the chest? We saw she found powder. It needs to be appraised. Okay. Nope, oh, don't you touch me. Thank you. Please drop another lantern. Okay, it looks like there's a gap here. Okay. We make it? Okay. That was an annoying section, but at least it was short. Can appreciate that. Okay. So there we go. Actually, managed to get through those two sections pretty quickly. Of course, we did skip part of the bowling section since we saw that before. But that should be our last eye. So now we can make our way back to that door and probably get healed by the barkeep guy. Oh, he's not here. Hmm, that's funny. Where'd he go? What if he. He's probably throwing up somewhere, if I'm being honest. Like, that guy did not seem like he was in good shape. So what's back here? Ooh, spooky. Legends of the Hidden Temple. You have entered the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Okay, so what what's going on over here? I'm just chilling by a 
treasure chest. I don't like that the camera was spinning like that. What's this? Where are the ghouls? What's going on, Manic? <laughs> this treasure's mine! 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 This is why I brought this pathetic this is why I bought this pathetic old restaurant. I'm rich now! Yippee! Uh, 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 what? What's wrong? Ugh, yuck! I opened the gate and let those ghouls go free for this disgusting belt? What have I done? So it was you, Manic! Because of your greed, Tim was attacked by those ghouls! Getting angry at you won't do anything for them, but you put them through hell! Do you have any idea how Tim and his mom felt? Talk about being selfish! I'm sorry. Here, you could have this ugly belt. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry I ruined everybody's lives in the town. Here, take this stupid belt that I don't like that I found in this chest. I'll start my life again. I'll make the restaurant the best one in the village, even though it's the only one. I think you should get kicked out of the village for what you did, Manic. Miss Osher received the ugly belt. It needs to be appraised. Okay. Manic, I'll make use of this disgusting belt to help the village. In a way, you'll be repaying the village, too. And I'll get those ghouls no matter what I have to do. So until then, stay at the inn and think about what you did, okay? Yeah, okay. I must ask Hilda, Tim, and everyone in the village for forgiveness. Musashi, please get rid of those ghouls. Well, I'm working on it, but you have made things a lot more complicated, Manic. Okay, so... Looks like I have to leave, because I can't do anything else here at the moment. I guess that belt is probably another legendary armor piece, and that will let me do something to... You know, get further into the ruins here. We're just shy of being able to appraise it, though. Because the time is not quite right. Am I going to be able to get back in here? <laughs> like, am I going to have to sleep all day again to get it? Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a nap for, like, 45 minutes. Just going to nap right next to the fountain like a normal person. Is it not open on Mondays? You gotta be kidding. No way. You, you gotta be joking me. Welcome! Make yourself at home! Make myself at home. Okay, well, maybe I will. Actually, oh wait, can I chat with people here? Let's try and chat with people. Because Manic should be here now. Make your... Yeah, I get it. Make myself at home. Uh, okay. Chat. Chat to... I can't chat now? Why can't I chat? I'm sorry, nobody wants to talk to you, Musashi. They say you suck. Well, that's not very cool, man. I just, I'm trying to save the village right now. Everybody hates me. Why do they hate me? I guess let's go back to the castle and I guess take a nap. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of dumb that I can't get into the appraise it right now, but sure. We do have a couple people we can visit, so let's go ahead and visit them. Take a look at the time, too. Okay. We're getting pretty close oh, when we want to stop. Why did thou come? Why did thou cometh hither? I came to visit my friends. Okay, so let's see here. Who are the new people? I really wish their names showed up. Once again, I said this before. Okay, Bailiff Jerky was one of them. Ahem! Thanks for saving Cook Marinade. Now we can start our rice field. Oh, okay. So, I guess we can get rice going? That's neat, I guess. Is this marinade? Anything to say now? Did I save jerky? Can't wait to harvest the rice! Okay, so I guess I just have to wait on the rice. You know, you gotta plant them, gotta wait. That kind of thing going on. Um, let's see. Who was the other guy I saved? It was a mercenary? Is it this guy? No. This is Stu's friend, though. Yo, thanks a lot, dude. Did you meet up with the thieves? I've been trying to dig up some clues to their whereabouts. If you need to know about them, ask me. What what thieves are we talking about? Okay, so a different mercenary. 
it this guy? There we go, there's Stu. Thanks for saving me. Actually, now that I look at that portrait in the upper right, doesn't that look like a Final Fantasy Tactics character? Like, isn't that the archer from Final Fantasy Tactics? Thanks for saving me. Did you hear about the thieves? We've been investigating the situation. If you need to hear about them, I may be able to help you. No, I haven't heard about the thieves. You guys keep talking about the thieves, but you're not telling me about the thieves. It's weird, right? Okay, so this is the other mercenary. I guess maybe he'll tell me about the thieves? We did it! We did it! Wonderful! Wonderful! Oh, nope. Okay. Well, that's a fat lot of nothing. Did not get anything out of talking to these guys. Great. Uh, we're done here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take care. So now I guess I'm just gonna sleep at my room. And then we're gonna wait to get that stuff appraised. Once again, I'm a little annoyed at the the time cycle in this game, both the day-night cycle and just the the week cycle, I guess, considering that certain buildings aren't open on certain days. So yeah, I'm going to kill a little bit of time, and then we will uh, hopefully manage to... Oh wait, it's nighttime now, so maybe people at the inn will talk to me. All the lights are on in here, so maybe people are actually here. Welcome! Welcome! At home. Hello, buddy. I would like to chat with some people. Why is that not possible now? Why? Three hour nap. I'm gonna sleep here for the night and see if that just kind of pushes me. Okay. Still not quite the time of day we need, but we can just take a nap in front of the appraisers and wait. As you can see, time moves a lot faster when you do this. It's going to kill a little bit of time here. I'll probably just cut this out, honestly. Just need it to be time for me to get this appraised. There we go. Okay. So let's get this belt appraised. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Appraise this belt for me. Oh yeah, and the powder. Let's see then. Hmm, yes, yes, I see. Amazing. Soap. Oh, it's powdered soap? Okay. Cool. How about the belt? Let's see then. Hmm, yes, yes, I see. Amazing. A piece of legendary armor. The L belt. Now you can do a double jump. Oh. That's awesome! Double jump! I wasn't expecting that! Okay, so I can double jump now. That is actually pretty useful. Oh, I would like to sell that soap. I probably don't need the soap. Okay. There we go. See you later! Yeah, yeah. Oh! Manic's back. Ah! Help! Hey, I thought you were resting at the inn. Well, I went to get some water to pre prepare things for the restaurant, but shoot, the water's gone! What? No water in the well? Don't you mean that it went dry? That's it, you know, you're looking very tall today. I'd say that you'd grown at least a hundred inches. Flattery will get you nowhere, pal. You want me to go check out the well, right? <laughs> you're smart. So you'll do it, right? You need a rope to climb down the well. It's stored away in the church. All right, all right. Give me the rope and I'll go check for you. Um, I don't have it. I'm too scared to go into the church. Ah! Calm down, pal. All right, I'll do everything. Yippee, thanks. I'll go get things ready at the restaurant. Great. So once again, we have some dumb stuff happening that I gotta go take care of. So I need to go to the, the, the church. What are you doing sleeping here? Hi, I came to borrow the rope, but is something wrong? Why'd you lock the gate? Uh, what? Oh, hello there, my son. Oh dear. I almost forgot. Someone stole the church's precious bell. I tried to catch those thieves and ran outside, but they tricked me and locked me outside. Oh no! What about the rope? 
Well, it's inside the church. I can't get it for you. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. You'll be eaten by those ghouls if you stay outside like this. That's why I locked the gate. Oh, thanks for reminding me. You remember who the thieves were? No, no, they were far gone when I got outside. However, lately I hear strange noises in the middle of the night. And because of it, I haven't had enough sleep. Oh yeah? Maybe it's just some mice. You think so? You come by at 2 a.m. precisely and I'll show you. Oh my god, another random time. There's definitely something wrong. Okay, well now I know what we're talking about with the thieves. At least that's explained. Okay, let me take a look at my time. Alright, yeah, we are at a point where we should stop for now. So that's where we're going to end for today. We managed to get a little bit more accomplished here. We managed to get through the rest of the end there. We got a double jump. That's pretty neat. A flip in the air. And we will probably be able to finish things up in the underground ruins there pretty soon. Just need to figure out where this bell is or where the rope is. Probably got to chase down some thieves and whatnot. That'll be for our next episode. So I will see you in the next episode. This has been Scarecrow. Bye-bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. See ya!